What's up NBA fans, it's your boy 3D for another edition of Shooter's Paradise. And I'm here with one of the, I think he's one of the best shooters in our game. Let's get right into it. Steph, how you doing? Doing good. How you feeling? Feeling good. How's the gooseneck feel? <laughs> it's out there. I'm hanging it, holding it, leaving it, and uh, it's feeling good right now. Let's tell the fans though, and for the young kids back home, you didn't wake up a three-point shooter. Being a great shooter, you got to start in close first. You make the left hand floaters, you make the right hand floaters. Talk about that preparation. Yeah, it's about to develop and touch and feel. Um, every time I start, I get ready to, to work on my shot from the time I was in high school, even before that to now, it's starting to paint for a lot of different reasons. You want to see the ball go in. Uh, you want to develop that touch, uh, get your rhythm right before you step out to the three point line or a little bit further out where you, your mechanics have to be right for you to have that consistency that you want. So. Um, it's all about just developing confidence. It's been well documented before the game, you do your ball handling routine. You shoot the shot from the tunnel, you shoot the half court shot. Explain that mindset that every night when you go into the game, you believe you're not gonna miss no shots. Yeah, um, I like to have a little bit of creativity um, and kind of challenge yourself a little bit. The tunnel shot's not really relevant to, <laughs> right, to right, basketball, but right. it's a challenge that, um, you know, I get five shots to make it and I kind of have to lock in and, and feel the ball, mm -hmm. see new angles. Mm -hmm. I think that translates to the game because it doesn't matter where you are on the floor, it's a different angle, but um, you have a split second to kind of you know, lock into that moment, rise up and shoot and have the confidence that's going in. So um, all the stuff is balancing the creativity, the, the challenge, and also the rhythm. You have really mastered the, either the dribble step back or you fade off the screen, the step back, the ball around your back, where'd that come from? <laughs> That's just being in the gym um, and trying this stuff, you know. Um, we always used to work on like, how quickly can I get the ball from the ground mm -hmm. to my hands to be able to shoot it. Right. Um, in the league, there's obviously not a lot of time in, in that moment where you can create space and get your shot off. Um, so you want to have that transition be as quick as possible. Ha -ha! I doubt I'm the first person to try it, but you just, you know, bring it around your back away from the defense, whether they reach it or not, I can get into my shooting pocket and shoot it. And just, you gotta have balance with right. it too, so. Right. Just, just creativity, you know, gym rats find different stuff, um, you know, to work on and, and to you know, keep them interested. Curry missed the layup. Curry, long range three, air ball, missing badly. Explain to our fans that even if you do miss two free throws, or if you miss your first five shots in the game, the mindset is I'm gonna make my next five. Oh, for sure. You Explain just, that. It's all built on your, your preparation, your, the, the reps that you put in before. Uh, like I was talking about building confidence. So I know I put the time in to get my mechanics right, to work on my range. Um, and basketball is basketball, you know, you can't really explain sometimes when you miss. Right. But the, the mentality is, it's not going to you know, make me shy from the next shot. Um, and I know when I get another opportunity that that was going in. And I have that belief it's all the way through my, my follow through until it hits the rim, hopefully it hits the bottom of the net. If right. it doesn't, I have the same mentality the next time. You know, shooters want to shoot and mm -hmm. shoot well. And no matter how the game's going, you got to push through it with that confidence. For the record, I try to tell fans the reason we call this segment Shooter's Paradise, because once you get in that zone, it feels like paradise, doesn't it? The rim looks like the ocean, um, you know, when you get into that zone and that paradise, and it's, it's pretty special, you know, just knowing if I get a good look and, you know, and not even a good look, if I just get a clean you know, release to the right. basket, then I'm pretty sure it's going in, so I relish those moments. Um, whether it's for the course of the season, like hitting 402 or in the middle of a game where you, you know, just unstoppable, have a couple of heat checks to go in. Right. All that kind of stuff. You just, you just have fun with it. Curry three! 